The confusion matrix is often used to assess prediction bias. And if the prediction is made by an algorithm, algorithmic bias. That's a big concern as AI takes over the world. No, prediction bias is important. We have to get this right. The problem is, if you have two different populations with different base rates and different distributions of positive and negative outcomes, there will always be one term or another in their confusion matrices that do not align. That's just how the math works out. It's a policy matter whether matching false positive rate is preferable to matching false negatives or precision or false omission rate for any particular situation where treating people fairly is vitally important. The confusion matrix dashboard shows that you can usually get at least one or two of these terms to match between subpopulations if you are willing to set different decision thresholds. But that in itself is not fair. Instead, let's consider a different way to assess bias in a decision process. The confusion matrix dashboard includes a curve that shows positive prediction ratio across prediction score bins. That's the ratio of positive outcome events to all predictions that land in that bin. One measure of fairness is that all populations get the same positive prediction ratio across the range of prediction scores. That means that no matter what group a sample falls into, it will be treated the same. It will get assigned a prediction score that has an outcome probability that matches every other group. This is called calibration accuracy. Calibration accuracy between two populations is achieved when their positive prediction ratio, or PPR curves, line up. This checkbox on the confusion matrix dashboard overlays them so you can see. We can devise measures of how well these curves line up. Basically, we're looking for something like the area between the PPR curves. Here is a formula I made up called PPRS, or Positive Prediction Ratio Score. You can read more about it in the medium.com article, and you can look at the code in the JavaScript for the confusion matrix dashboard. And you might come up with a better formula. But this one seems to work pretty well on synthetic test examples like the Apple Snacks data. I find that a PPRS less than about 0.2 indicates pretty good calibration accuracy, while a score above 0.7 indicates some significant bias. But there is no free lunch. Even when a decision process shows no prediction bias, that doesn't mean that when you set a decision threshold, the confusion matrices for two subpopulations will necessarily align. That depends upon the base rates and prediction score distributions for the two populations. If one subpopulation has characteristics that inherently place them with higher prediction scores, then they are going to see not only higher true positive rates, but also higher false positive rates. That's simply because they've got more positive predictions overall. The more general principle is, the world is complicated. Many, many causal factors lead up to any experimental or observational outcomes that we might measure. These causal factors can reflect all sorts of imbalances in the world. And imbalances are going to show up as statistical outcomes of prediction and decision processes. That in itself does not mean that predictions are biased or that the decisions are biased. The world is not flat.